What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna work on a Ram 3500. Of course, it's a 2018 Hills Green G56 Cummins 6.7 liter. And I had a tradesman truck, so I didn't necessarily like the radio that came in it. It was kind of plain. I mean, it sounded okay, but it, 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 it just wasn't me. I'm more of an aftermarket person, but I really love the look of the 8.4 inch screen. So I did some research, uh, connected with a guy on Facebook, bought this stereo from him and show you how I installed it. I uh, got the, t it's actually a 2000, it's out of a 2019. So it's got all your features. It's got Apple CarPlay. I have to get a cord and I'll plug my phone and I'll show you how that works. I got a new phone, so this hasn't been paired yet, but it's got the apps, it's got everything you need. It's got all the climate control, got all that. And then this is what it came with. So this is RA1, I guess you would call it. It has no Bluetooth has no steering wheel controls, just a basic plain radio, but it does have satellite. But this is how a lot of trucks came. If you didn't want to pay the, pay the expensive price tag of a Laramie or a Limited or Bighorn or anything like that. So this is a simple upgrade. I'll show you how to take this radio out and swap it with something like this. Not necessarily gonna take this one all the way out, but I'll show you everything you need to do. So first off, this radio came basically inside this bezel. So you'll get a new bezel because this is how it came. So you've got your three speed fan, your knobs, like so. So this all has like the push button and it has one center knob and then you have the steering wheel knob or the volume knob and your seat knob. So instead of it being attached up here, it's actually down below. So this radio fits inside the bezel. So I'll show you how to take this dash apart. It's really simple. You've got, I'll move this radio out of the way. Up here, you've got this little plastic, like non-skid plate. So remove that. You can get like a, just anything. I actually use the key tag off my keys to slide underneath it. So slide it on there, it'll come right out. It's just barely, it's got these little catches that put it in there. So. After that, it's got two torques up there, which is a T15. We'll loosen those, which I've already done. Pull these out, move all this crap out of the way. So that's all it is, two torques, one, two. And some models have, you know, four wheel drive button here. Mine has the manual shift like so. So it's not bad, there's nothing else. So let me set this camera up here. View for you guys where it's, further out and you just kind of grab the top and pull this thing should pop right out so just like so once you get it so far lean it forward and we will unplug these plugs for the bezel which is uh, actually it's the air conditioning controls and so on so there's one at the top here which this is different than what I had which I'll show you. So we'll unplug all these. The radio swap is really easy because it's basically the bezel I showed you previously. This one is actually mounted into here, which is kind of hard to see. But so there's 13 Phillips head screws that hold this in here. So I got the new controller which is the, the yellow writing there. And the upper bezel was always a kit, which also came with a wiring harness that I'll show you, which is here. And it runs to the fan motor. And it's like, I guess the auto climate. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But you'll we'll, we'll run out over there later and all that comes in here. So then here you've got four screws like so, and you'll pull your unit out. Of course, there's two plugs in the back of that, which will look like this. You'll unplug those, and then you'll have the yellow and white antenna. The yellow antenna is the satellite antenna. So if your truck came with satellite radio, this, this unit does not have navigation, but it does have Apple CarPlay. So if you have the yellow antenna and you have factory satellite radio on your truck, that antenna will work for the Apple CarPlay. 
So if you have the Apple, like an Apple phone or even Android Auto, if you have maps on your phone, it'll display up on your screen. So you don't need to buy a navigation set. You can just use your phone and it's hands-free. Works just as it would stock. So that's a little tidbit for that. And you would take those four out. I'm not going to pull the radio because it's not really worth it. You're just going to pull that out. It's going to look just like this on the back. Have the plugs. You swap it out, screw it back in. And you would swap this bezel over to where it would have this new buttons like the other one had this. Because basically, this set inside of here. Those 13 screws hold that in there. Really easy to do. Of course, you can see them. One, two, three, you know, it goes all around. And that holds that, that's what holds this, this all as one piece in together. So that's that. Once you do that, you can put it all back together. We'll plug in the, get this thing set up here and plug it back in. And that's basically how you swap that. And I'll show you the other side of it where we, what we do with the, the wiring harness that comes with the kit. And let me move this camera out of the way so I can plug this in and I'll show you the next plug down. So there's three plugs, which mine came with the three speed fan. So I upgraded to the five speed fan for this whole kit to work. So it's a plug here, one lower, one here. There's actually one extra that was from the old harness that you will not use. And this new harness connects here to the other plug and runs down behind the glove box to the auto temp. And we'll snap this back together for you guys. show you how easy it is to put back together just line up around the screen so you don't scratch the screen i start at the bottom and of course we'll snap it back together like so make sure it clicks that that one wiring harness is out there's no gaps on the sides we'll put our torques back in the top got the drill out because i didn't want to take forever just snug those down. You don't have to over tighten them. Just like so. Put our little trim piece back in. Snaps in. Put my sunglasses back up here. And I'll leave the key right here. So that's what it looks like when it's all back together. Clean factory look, just like it would be from OEM. So I'll move over to the other side and I'll show you where the wiring harness goes. So over here guys on the passenger side floorboard, I'm gonna pull this floor mat out. And we are going to pop up this outside door trim. Just pull straight up and the outside. Just like so. So pull that out, pull it straight up, pop it out to the left, just like that. So that's how the, so you'll lower down the glove box. There is a little push pin here. You'll push that in, fold in the sides of the glove box. The glove box will come right out. So I ran the wiring harness behind here, out of the way, zip tied it out of the way. So it won't interfere with anything. You run it down, you have, Two plugs here that you'll unplug the old existing fan and you'll plug in the new harness. There's only two connections. It can only go two places. And then you'll remove this soft cover. And in the back, there is a circle fan. I think it's got two seven millimeter heads. And you'll take that and open it and you'll find the old controller, which should look just like this. So those two screws hold that. This is what's up inside your heater box, control box. You'll remove that. You'll swap it with a new one that comes with the kit and it converts it from the three speed fan to the five. And you put it all back together, put the cover back on it, you plug it in, get all the wires out of the way like so. And that's basically how you run the existing rest of the wiring kit for this swap. It's pretty easy. There's only like, you know, maybe five plugs on the entire harness and three of them go in the radio, two over here comes with everything you need all right guys so that's basically it on the swap i'll put all this back together in just a second but um 
got it all working the first time I installed this, had no problems. The car, uh, I didn't have the feature of the Apple CarPlay though, so I was like, what's wrong? So I was talking to the guy I got it from, and he asked what year my truck was, 2018. And everything up to that point where people were doing these swaps was, everything was plug and play from 18, because the, the 18 had the upgraded Media Hub. So come to find out that wasn't the case. So I got the Media Hub from Ram. <clears throat> Looks a little different than the previous years. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got the two USB ports and the aux. So if you have this one, depends on when your RAM was made, it'll go here. I just took a straight screwdriver, popped that out. It's got one plug on the back side. Put this new one in with the upgraded um, part number and the Apple CarPlay worked. So I can plug in there with an Apple cord or I can plug in with the factory one up here which I charge headphones with most times, but if you get that, it'll work. It's really simple. The CarPlay works. You can use Waze Auto on it, the Waze like speeding radar app or navigation app. It pops up on your screen. I'll show you some of those features. Just got to grab one of my phone charger cords and I'll show you what it looks like on the screen. Alrighty guys, so I got in the truck, got my phone plugged in and got it plugged into the USB hub, the media hub, whatever you want to call it. So now it activates Apple CarPlay on the stereo. So you can press that and it says unlock, which I'm recording so it won't. So I don't know if I'll be able to show you these features, but it has everything else that works while I'm recording because I do use my phone to shoot this video since it has a better camera than most new ones since it's the 11 Pro Max. But anyways, you got your media, which I have music on here, you have your climate, everything's touch screen. You can change everything. You got AC, vent, front, defrost, everything works. Apps, you can do like, if you pay for the upgraded Sirius XM, you can get like the mobile hotspot. You can turn off your media. It's basically like a main hub screen here. And you got like audio settings. Of course, the CarPlay, you can do your text messages, Waze um, driving app, like I mentioned. You can do Spotify, um, just a few apps like that. And settings, you can go in here and you change your background, which I have the blue, which matches all the factory blue lights that lights up on this truck. And of course you have volume knob here. You have your air vent here, the browse feature, everything works. My truck has the auxiliary switches down below. So kind of hard to see in here, but turn the screen off. Everything works as it should. So I bought this kit. I think it was for everything, which I had the lower you know the lower tier radio so as long as it has like i mentioned it has a satellite radio from factory which i think every one of them does now you don't need to like add an antenna for gps you don't have to add anything like that so they all work pretty good um i bought this kit off my buddy don on facebook um i'll put the link down below he sells these all the times so i think he gets wrecks and he upgrades or offers the parts to upgrade i got everything from him the only thing i had to get was that media hub which we found out a part number. I can post it down below. Um, I actually have to steal the box from the dealer, but it was a hundred bucks. He actually gave me back the hundred dollars to, I shipped him the one they sent me and he was perfect to work with. Easy guy. Uh, caught him with a question. He answered right away. He gives you his phone number and everything. So he makes the swap really easy. Um, he actually did the, the upgraded cluster too, which I made a video on that. So you can go back to my channel and see that I had the small little two inch screen that comes in the truck. So I upgraded that. I did a video also on how to do, as well as the upgraded steering wheel. We had the rubber steering wheel with no audio controls. I also did a video on that. You can look on my channel and see that also. So there'll be three separate videos now. I had a lot of questions about this and I hopefully answered most of the questions. Um, if you have anything at all, you can shoot me a message on YouTube. I can reply or send you my phone number or anything to walk you through it. Um, really cool you know this is a 2018 truck and i didn't want to buy a loaded out limited or you know i might have if they had the color but as you can tell this thing is neon green which it's called hills green but you cannot get this truck in a loaded out trim level so i bought the tradesman i got the six speed manual that i wanted i got the color truck i wanted i got a 3500 truck i this thing sat on the car lot forever so i got a really good deal on it i've made this truck home and you know, there's just the small features it doesn't have. It doesn't have the glove box cover over there. You know, it doesn't have the 
overhead display there. But I mean, it has everything else. You know, it doesn't have chrome on the door panels, but it doesn't have chrome door handles. But I honestly don't like chrome. I kind of like the plastic ones. This is easy to upgrade. It's easy to keep clean. You know, you can make your truck your own. That's part of what this channel is. I'm showing you a little bit of upgrades that I've done. Um, you know, just as simple as like the shift ball. You know, a lot of people don't know what size thread this is. Uh, I, if you want to know, comment below. I can put that in the description for you also. So we'll see what else we can come up with this thing. I do have a dual steering stabilizer going on this thing. This truck is leveled on 33s, 22 by 10s, Ridge Grappler tires. Um, I can show you a little bit about that if you're interested and you haven't seen my previous videos. Because, you know, it's a rare color. This this truck this year is the last year of the 18 Ford Gen, so unless you call it the four and a half but it looks really good in the sun they made 33 of these that are diesel for 2018 you know the only thing i have left is i upgraded the cargo camera like to come on the loaded trucks um it comes up a blue screen on my big screen but my reverse camera is factory it comes up in the rearview mirror and they make a, a it's like a wiring swap that'll tie these two together or i can switch it to a cargo camera here um i'll be doing that here shortly you have to find that somebody has to build like a custom cable for it the dealer or nothing like that offers anything so if you like this video you know give me a thumbs up give me a comment tell me how i did if you have any questions about this or the process or where i got the stuff from just let me know um you see me message on instagram rigetti 08 um, i'm on facebook seth riggy same as youtube shoot me a message let me know what you think comment below and if you want to see anything else that i've done or haven't done just let me know and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.